Welcome to Peak TV. I'm Niv Dagan, Executive Director of Peak Asset Management. Got all the way from Perth, Steve Stone from Castle. Steve, welcome. Yes, hi. Hi, Niv. Good to be with you. Steve, as you know, we're big backers of the company. We recently raised some funds at 1.2 cents with a one for two option. And since then, a lot of volume, a lot of liquidity, a lot of excitement in the stock. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Castle and, and how it was formed? Sure. Castle was formed 12 years ago on the back of a portfolio of um, West African projects in Ghana. And it's pretty much been focusing on those um, until quite recently when I took over management. And we decided we need to diversify the company uh, geographically. So we we brought it over into Western Australia and also across a number of other uh, commodities. And that's where we are today. And that's been a very successful strategy. And, and Steve, a lot of interest um, recently on the whole battery metals sector, especially with your recent uh, acquisition and work on the lithium side, which shown some, some really strong promise on the pegmatites. Can you tell us a little bit more about the graphite project and also the lithium news that you've just announced to the market? Sure. So the graphite project's actually in Ghana, and it's been a sleeper asset. It's always been there, um, but it's only really when the, the battery metals sector has, has taken off that we decided to dust it off and have a look and see really whether it had any legs. So we did some um, test work very recently to see what we could recover from that uh, deposit. And we've got a 96.4% total carbon recovery, an 88% recovery of the, sorry, a concentrate. And we've got an 88% recovery of the graphite, which are really the benchmarks where you need to be. Um, so we're really happy about that. And now that we've got that, confidence we're going to go back and see how big this deposit is we've got a sort of a preliminary sort of 14 million ton resource at seven percent uh, total carbon but from the geophysics we know this deposit is much much bigger so what we're going to do now see how big it is and then see where the best parts of it are so what's interesting was the samples that we took for the test work they graded sort of between 12 and 17 percent so it's way above the resource grade. So we know there's some very good high grade zones there. So it's a really good space to be in. And look, we think the graphite um, as a commodity of the bat business is going to remain strong. I mean, there's at least 35 kilograms in every EV vehicle at the moment, and more than 50% of every battery is, is graphite, actually a lot more graphite in a battery than lithium. So we think it's a really good um, sector to be in. Oh, look, I 100% agree with you. I think for, for a, a lithium-ion battery, there's only 7% lithium and 50 over 50% graphite. So if you can get those grades that you're referring to, that's absolutely astronomical, especially as the market's moving to uh, electrical uh, vehicle valuation and, and the whole revolution. So that's very, very exciting. I did actually read a note just yesterday, Norway's moved from 70% diesel. Now every new car, or two, only 2% 2 are diesel, and every new car is electric. So obviously that whole focus is huge. Um, I want to talk, um, Steve, you do have some really other interesting projects in the portfolio. So you've acquired um, a, quite a large strategic position in the e -Hedi, um Basin, uh, right along uh, Strike to Rumble, uh, which looks really, that, that's made a big um, zinc discovery. And also, there's a lot of news today with STK. Can you tell us a little bit about why you're so excited about that? Yes, well, look, we, Castle sees itself as a bit of an incubator of project. I've got a really good small geological team, very experienced people, and we've been looking around for cheap entry into really good areas. And picking up this ground in the Irahidi was part of that process. Actually, it was quite interesting. We didn't even know that we were next to Rumble when we picked up the ground. So it's been very fortuitous. And then um, Rumble came out with all their numbers and we're literally just a long strike. Um, at a, at a, we've got a little prospect that was found by Renaissance Exploration in the 80s um, called Sue. And that's a long strike from the uh, magazine and the Chinook uh, prospects of Rumble. And Rumble have got four or five rigs out there. They've got a camp. They've got lots of geologists. They're really hitting this ground very hard because they've already found a lot of lead and zinc and they think they're going to find more and they think they're actually on to a, a, you know, almost a world-class base metals project. Now, what's happened today is uh, really interesting because Strickland have just announced some tremendous intercepts right next to um, Rumble and really just immediately to the south of us. So they've got sort of 23 metres at 5 or 6% zinc and lead in a couple of holes, um, slightly different level in the stratigraphy. And that's really showing us that this whole belt has the potential to be mineralised. 
Now, our Sioux prospect was drilled by Renison many years ago, and we know there's anomalous zinc and lead in there. Um, we're just at the moment in the process of trying to find that data and verify it. But we really have sort of lucked out and picked up some really good ground. And in fact, our ground wraps right around the Rumble, or in fact, the Rumble Zenith joint venture ground. And in addition, we were able to pick up a lot more ground to the east, to the, yes, to the west side. We just couldn't even believe that was open. And that's the Terra Rossa project. And again, when you look back through the old records, there's um, lots of talk about um, base metals there as well. So we've actually picked up about sort of uh, nearly 800 square kilometres in this, um, basically a new province. And it's really timely that we're there. And it's actually very timely that we're talking about about it today, given these uh, tremendous results mm. by Strickland. Yeah, fantastic results. And obviously the whole region's really exploding. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about um, one of the projects not right, right next to GBR as well, because that, that's another fantastic project. Tell us a little bit more about that and why you're so excited by it. Well, that's our Palau project that you're referring to. And that's um, just to the east of Mekathara. So we all know that Mekathara is one of the big gold mining centres. There's not a lot of being, gold being found on the east, mainly because the the, um, the regolith there is quite complicated. Now, there's a little prospect, or actually a small deposit called Albury Heath, just off our licence. And there's a structure that runs through that called the Albury Heath Shear. And along that, we think we'll find some more uh, mineralisation, some more gold mineralisation. So we've been doing a lot of sampling there. Recently, we did some um, very high-level ge um, geochemical analysis, and we found that not only we've got anomalies on that structure, but we've got them uh, in some other areas where we didn't expect. To the north, as you say, um, a great boulder on their side well project, and in particular at their Mulga Bill prospect, we've got a 5.1 kilometer anomaly there, and they're getting some really, really good results. So that's really opening up this whole belt. And between us and Great Boulder is a company called Sensor. They're unlisted, and they're using some what they call artificial intelligence to look at old data, and they think they're onto a big mineral system there. So this whole east side of Mikasara is suddenly getting this new uh, lease of life based on um, you know, real, real numbers. So we're really keen to get out there and drill our Palel ground as soon as we can. And it is a granted license there. So we're just going through the permitting, uh, the per permits to go out and drill right now. So Steve, um, tell us why is it the right time to buy Castle? Uh, if I was an investor, you've got some fantastic projects, you've moved into the LIB space, you've got the lithium, you've got the graphite, you've got some uh, tremendous assets, obviously with Longstrike, GBR and Rumble. Why is it an exciting time? Why should I be buying um, CDT right now. Sure. Well, look, um, you mentioned the lithium. We didn't really talk about that, but we did pick up a license recently just north of the world-class Greenbushes um, project in WA, and that's the that's the highest grade, most profitable lithium mine in the world. But nobody's found anything north or south of it, and we can understand why. So we're very excited about that. So when you're buying a share in Castle, you're buying the share some really really interesting projects: battery metals, base metals. Uh, gold. And not only that, you've got this tremendous value compressed into just a 10 million market cap. And 2.7 million of that, now that you guys have uh, been very helpful and raises some funds, is cash. Mm. So we've got the cash to to move these projects ahead. So we're no longer sort of come issue. So it's the perfect time to get on board a company like Castle. Steve, as you know, we're big supporters and uh, look forward to seeing the stock price move upwards and onwards. And thanks very much for joining us at uh, Peak TV. Great. Uh, thanks very much, Nev.